In recent years, one very effective method that's become very popular uh, when fishing for Chinook salmon is using 360 flashers. Now these 360 flashers are great because you can troll downriver at a very fast speed, cover a lot of area. When trolling, will spin in a 360 degree pattern. And the overall diameter of that, that spinning is all determined by the bumper length. That is where the swivel is and sinker to where it is tied to the front swivel on your flasher. A longer bumper will mean a wider diameter spin. Shorter is gonna be a tighter diameter and faster uh, spin. What makes these so effective is that it causes your lure to behave erratically, which can entice a bite, and that makes it very effective for salmon. Plus, you control these at a very fast speed and cover a lot of ground, uh, which allows you to get in front of more fish. That's what makes it effective. But one of the biggest challenges of these is because it's spinning and you're running at such a high speed, is that you can get line twist. So these are spinning, especially if you get weeds, and it can cause uh, the line twist to go up your main line, especially with braided line, and that'll affect the integrity of the line. So the big question is what can we do to help prevent that from happening? So one of the methods that can be used to prevent this from happening is to put a slit in your slider so that when there's tension, it interlocks with the swivel so that everything can spin freely with the 360, but this locks into place so that that line twist is not created because you've got all this pressure with your large sinker holding that in place. This isn't gonna be spinning around, generally speaking. So that's gonna hold that in place and help prevent that line twist from going up the line. Now, how do you do that? We use the slider because if this gets caught in the net and the fish wants to run, it can slide. The fish can continue to take line. If you use a fixed lead, you have a tendency, if this gets caught in the net, it'll the fish will uh, will snap that off. So most guys are using a, a, a slider like this. If you have a Dremel tool, that's great. Uh, if you have uh, needle files, I got this set from Harbor Freight, and you can just come in here and put your, your slice in here. So that will work with whatever size swivel that you're using. So in this case, I've got this swivel here and it'll lock in with that swivel. If you have a bigger swivel, of course, you'll have to put a bigger cut. They're now manufacturing sliders like this already made, and they even have some with the fin. But if you already have these, you can make this simple modification yourself and help prevent that line twist. Well, I hope that tip was helpful. Please subscribe for more tips, more how-to guides and fishing videos that will help you catch more fish. We'll see you out on the water. Take care now.